Joker too. You guys uh, Joker. hear the latest news about Joker Joker? I mean, is anybody it. surprised it's going to mm. suck? I mean, the director doesn't know how to make a decent sequel. That's true. Well, some people like uh, uh, Hangover 2. Two, yeah. Really? It's the same damn movie all over again, which was already Dude, Where's My Car? <laughs> so I was watching Grace Randolph stream. I didn't even know she streamed, but she streamed yesterday. And uh, she said, Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn is a Harley for the female gays and the gays. I had to gays. rewind that and make sure I, that she didn't say gays. So what kind of dumb shit did Grace say this week? Well, I don't know if it's dumb shit this time because she's actually going to save some people some money. I, I only think, got one. one fucking. <sighs> Sorry, Tom. <laughs> I could add a thing where it says, what kind of not so yeah. dumb shit did Grace say? I could do that, but I'm not like, re-recording the whole thing. Did you say that uh, he was making this movie for the critics? Is that what you said people were that's saying? What that's what I the... said. Okay, I, yeah. I said that. <clears throat> then that's a failure because the, the critics have given this one, you know, the sequel, a lower Rotten Tomatoes score than they did the original. I say that because I look at this one critic. I mean, somebody posted it on this thread. Uh, was this quote from somebody on Rotten Tomatoes, a, a critic that reviewed it. Yeah, here it is. This is what she said. Of all the things Phillips does better in Joker 2 than he did in Joker 1, the best is by far his course correction in catering to radical misogynists. Uh, That's quite the quote, I got to say. Right. Wow. And now finding out. So, and also, I want to tell you, Grace confirmed what a lot of us were thinking, that it's going to be a Harley Quinn movie. She said it very much is a Harley Quinn story. Wasn't the first one supposed to incite violence? Yeah, they made it sound like you were going to get shot and killed if you wouldn't watch this movie. The problem is, is is that this movie isn't going to do the numbers that the first one did because there's none of that spectacle surrounding this one like there was in the first one. I'm not so sure about that, Brett, because you got Lady Gaga, and if there's anybody who can get people to quit talking about Taylor Swift, it's Lady Gaga. <laughs> but it's and, projected uh, to open, I what, gotta, like, like I gotta, 26 million less than the original? Yeah, I, I got that. I'm going to pull that up next. Yeah. But I just want to correct you real quick, Tom. Her movies have not done well in the box office. Uh, what did what's she have? She a, had a the Star is Born did well. A Star is Born. Did I don't think Bradley it did that Cooper well, did it? I mean, it made nearly. Uh, we yeah. talked about it. it. Made like four hundred sixty-nine no, yeah. million dollars. Four hundred million. Okay. Four hundred sixty-nine million dollars on a budget of like thirty-five. And won a bunch of Oscars, or, yeah. or at least yeah. got nominated anyway. What's the other movie that she was in? Started playing she shallow, and all the white women start singing. It did pretty good. I was gonna say she hasn't done too many movies, so this is. I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be as big as, but I think the opening weekend is going to be big, but I think the audience is going to be completely different for this movie. Okay. Right. Like, I think the audience is going to be made up mostly of women and gay men. Do you think and... that that's going to work? Like, I see why A Star is Born draws a female audience, right? Like, I don't know if I see Yes, I do, because you also that. have the Harley Joker thing with women who totally don't get it. Because yeah. I don't know how many, it, there's not a day that goes by where I don't see some idiot fucking posting i want a relationship like joker and harley it's like no you yeah. fucking don't you bitch. really don't it's, you really don't it's like you really don't yeah so I mean, yeah well, i do think there's some sort of thing that'll happen but i think the original audience that didn't that did like the first one won't like this one and i think the critics are just kind of stuck in the middle because like you guys said they tried coming down on the first movie because they thought it was about an incel and now you got lady gaga in this one so i i think they have this whole like and then it's a musical. It's going to be like a Oscar kind of bait movie. Yeah. So I'm kind of surprised that the, the the critics don't like it more. But I've heard a rumor about there's some strange twist near the end that really turned a lot of the audience off. I have no idea what it is. It was all a dream. I it's wonder if she doesn't kill probably, Joker is what Holly. I think it is. They probably oh, made Holly the actual no. yeah, that would do it. I would have rather seen Todd Phillips take the concept he used for Joker, don't increase the budget, and make a bunch of prestige, ground-level Batman villain movies in the same tone as Joker. To have seen something 
with like what they were talking about doing with Amanda Waller, but maybe doing like a Deathstroke movie, something about the Australian ASIS, you know, a spy thriller, but do it on a smaller budget, something like that. But I don't know if you needed to go back to this. Well, I don't think a sequel needed to be made at all. Mm. No, yeah, this should have been a one and done. But you know, money talks, and the movie yeah. made a lot of money. It's That's the like other problem. Is the, they they doubled. They all they over. They went over double the budget, two hundred million dollars. Now, when the opening weekend is going to be twenty six million. Well, that's because everybody got paid. Yeah, they were going to make sure they got paid. Yeah, making that money back this time around isn't going to be as easy as it was the first time. Just to go back to A Star Is Born, it made four hundred and thirty six million dollars. What was the budget of a thirty six million dollar budget? See, that's what it was. was Okay, yeah, that's a success. That's a gay men love Lady Gaga. Like, she has a great voice. I'm not a big fan of well, her she has music. A big following, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I do like. I like it when she does that old kind of 40s music, like that Sinatra style. She actually sings with some guy. Forget his name. Uh, you can find the videos on YouTube where she does that. She is basically like the modern Madonna in a lot of ways. Yeah. I mean, in some ways, she's probably even better vocally than Madonna ever was. She has. I, she has a great voice. Yeah, I mean, Madonna, her thing was is her voice was fine before she got lessons, and then after she got lessons, she sucks. Yeah, Tony that's, Bennett. That's the yeah. guy she sings with. Yeah. And it it yeah. sounds great, actually. I listened to, like, a couple of, of videos of her with him a long time ago and was kind of surprised how good it sounded. Didn't he just pass away, like, this last year? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's funny because, like, look, last year of all the big movies, like, two or three, maybe even four of them, they didn't break the, that $100 million budget mark, right? Like, I'm not talking about marketing, but Oppenheimer and Barbie spent $100 million to make their movie. And if they could have spent $100 million on this movie, like, there was no need to, dub, you know, go more No, I, what, I, I understand it. where the money went. Yeah. The, the, Todd Phillips and and, yeah. and and Joaquin made sure they got paid. Yeah. And uh, that's what it's all about, because the first movie made a billion bucks. Does that right, indicate so. that maybe you would know this better than me? Does that indicate that they have like less, like less strict contracts about backroom, you know, like back end deals? Like, are they going to get less on the box office? <sighs> Potentially, I don't, I don't know how much they got off the first movie because there was a lot of different production companies involved with the first movie. That was a thing with Warner Brothers. Was yeah, it was a hit, but they were kind of pissy because of all these other companies that were involved in it. They didn't see most of the money. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because I mean, during the pan, that was at the tail end of the you know, pandemic shit, and that did extremely fucking well. Yeah. Here's and, here's uh, a yeah. Sorry, here's like I'll play like ten seconds of it. Like, look, she sounds really good in voice. Mm. Just don't really like her music <laughs> that much. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think here, here's the other thing that she said in that review that she gave last night. Uh, it doesn't even commit to being a musical like they were saying it is like there's not even that many songs in it i'm not surprised because didn't i do you guys remember me saying that i bet you a lot of the musical stuff is going to be from her perspective in her head probably like i think we only know of the one bit that he's singing like we got to remember the first film was all his version of events right is a unreliable narrator so is this movie going to be from his point of view now, or is it going to be from her point of view? It now? sounds like it's going to be from her point of that's view. That's my thinking, yeah. Yeah, that's the way it sounded when Grace was going on and on about it. And it's funny, she was talking about how she's like, I can't really say much. She was like blapping and <laughs> dropping all kinds of shit about Unless it. that's the whole twist at the end is that hardly any of this shit is real, kind of like the first movie, like people forgot. Yeah. I think you had it right twist. the first time. I think she's going to kill him at the end. She might. I kind of think that's going to happen. And that would make sense. That's the twist. That's the twist that turning people off. Because naturally, I think people that want to see that they like Joker, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, he's the star of both, well, not of this one, but the first one that made this possible. Mm-hmm. That would turn me off if she kills him at the end. What would you think if he killed her? Like, think about that. Like, uh, the they would be even more upset if they went the other direction. Maybe hey, watch, that's, like that's a jokerish thing to do because exactly. the real Joker doesn't give a shit about Harley and it's either. It's the type really. of thing that's the type of the critics and people that I was just talking about earlier, right? That don't get it. That would upset them. Be like, oh, they're supposed to have this great romance. Why would Joker kill her? <laughs> it's not a great romance. I know. <laughs> it's like, no, it's basically, it's it. It's like, they're basically 
to the point where one of them is going to kill each other at some point. <laughs> Joker would throw her in the trash in the comic. Oh, he's done it, literally. He's like throwing her away. Some I mean, of the he's best... left her for dead how many fucking times? Yeah, a few times. Yeah. He he's more he's more into Batman than he is Harley Quinn. You're not wrong. <laughs> he loves Batman, not in a yeah. sexual way. Yeah. Well, doesn't she have stock he, he needs him. She she wouldn't kill Joker, even no matter how many times Joker did it. She, she would if she form? if if she flipped to a point. But it would have to. You'd have to push her to a point. Like I think if you put her in a position. To where she thought Joker was doing something wrong. Because she's like this moral, not moralistic, but she's kind of like that middle ground between Joker and Batman to where, like, I don't think she'd go so far over the edge. I'm trying to remember, has she killed anybody necessarily in the comics or not? I know, I'm sure she has bad guys and other people, but I mean, as far as, like, good guys, outside of the more modern comics where she killed everybody in, like, the video game and shit like that, but, like... I mean, I don't see her as a character who can really step over that line too often, unless she has in the past with good They're guys. They're trying. I don't know. They're trying. I'm just to thinking, push like, the recently, of yes, they want to make her like their Deadpool. Yeah, it's That's also annoying because they turned her into a patient rather than making her a. That therapist. bothers me more than anything. That bothers right? me yeah. more than any of it. Because that kind yeah, of takes away the whole point of it, right? Like the whole point is he corrupts her. He yeah. corrupts her, yeah. So it's like the, you know, what is it, the Nightingale effect or whatever, where the nurse falls in love with the patient or whatever. That's probably like a bit of a, like, an, I don't know if this is the right thing, but it's probably like a bit of a DEI thing. They can't have this man, even though he's fucked up, corrupting this woman. Mm. You know, it's it's kind of the same thing as you can't have a man teach a woman or you can't have a man um, do something better than a woman. Like, they've got to be equal. So they're both psychos or whatever in an institution whatever and that you know they just happen to come together as opposed to her being the therapist and actually him corrupting her you can't have yeah. that could be well, worse. tell me could she's be killed throw. in the comics i mean i'm going the version of harley i know is basically the cartoon so hmm. it implied that they've killed in the cartoon and they never really show anything so the projection, the tracking's dropped forty four percent. Wasn't this tracking to be somewhere in the hundred and fifteen, hundred and fifty thousand dollar opening weekend range or something? I think it's got some competition though, too, compared to what the first one did. What's what else coming, is out? coming out with it? I'm trying to remember, but uh, it comes when out this in drop? Uh, October. It's October got like 4th. Venom coming up here. Uh, is Venom dropping the same week? No, nah, I think it's the no. week after. Or is Cra- okay. Oh, Craven's closer to Christmas. Right? That's Christmas. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> well that and just i think they're just playing it safe because uh i mean oh, well, i'm craven i luxury love animals I transformers i see it in the chat transformers. Oh, transformers one i hear is pretty good actually yeah there's that too i forgot That's coming yeah. around the same time isn't it yeah i've already seen the toys for that um let's see i mean there's that saturday night movie but that's not going to do all that big a business there is terrifier three and smile two coming out and it's you know, for Halloween season, that will eat a little bit of money, but yeah. I don't think it's going to be the same audience 